Hi YouTube, it's been a while. Um, I haven't posted since like 2012, so stuff happened, okay? Um, I'm back now, and hopefully I'll be posting more frequently than I did in the past. Anyways, so this video is a, it's actually going to be a beauty video, and I don't do these frequently. I, I did hauls in the past, but this is kind of going to be like all the beauty video tags in one, because <laughs> I'm efficient that way. So this is going to have favorites, this is going to be a haul video, this is going to be um, fails, this is going to be empties, and yeah, that's, that's what it's going to be. Okay, so four things. Alright, so first things first, um, I went to the store, um, CVS, and I bought new products. I hadn't bought anything in a while, so, you know, when you get to that point where you haven't bought anything in a while and you get stuck with this feeling like, I have to buy something, and I have to buy something now, <laughs> that's kind of what happened. So, um, I ended up buying prescript, uh, what is this, uh, Positions Formula. This is because of Tati. If you don't know Tati, you should check her out. She is awesome. She's a beauty guru, and she talks about this mascara all the time. <laughs> So I got that, and then um, it was like buy one fifty percent off, buy one get one fifty percent off. So then I ended up getting this with it, like for fifty percent. This is like a shimmer strips custom eye enhancing coal kajal eyeliner. So I guess it's like it's like I don't know if you can see that, but it's like that, and it looks like that. It's new. I've, I haven't. I think the only thing I've seen is like that L'Oreal. There's a there's a short stub L'Oreal black one that looks similar to this. Um, but it's that one is like a pencil and it's hard. This might be like super soft. So we'll see. Um, next things. Okay. So I have color tattoos um, already. I had three of them. Um, I had the bronze one, the matte gray one, and then I had that that um, maroon purple looking one, but I ended up throwing away the maroon purple looking one because I was stupid and threw it away. I was dumb. Anyways, um, but I had the other two and um, I ended up getting two new ones, the Inked in Pink and Beijing Beauty. So this is what they look like. I don't know if you can see that the pink, they're, they're very subtle, but I love these because if you're in a hurry, you literally just swiped them on and it looks like you put effort in your makeup that day and you didn't it was just so easy and they also are a great base if you're trying to do like a really complicated one they help make it stick better I mean even wood primer but okay next I went and got wet n wild milk I am planning on doing um, a nail polish graveyard soon and I have to go through and purge every couple of weeks because you start becoming like a rat pack if you don't. Um, I got this new Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain and it's Stockholm Chick. It's what I have on today, so I really like it. It's it's kind of like my lips but better. Um, so from head to toe, she loves my lips but better like things. And this is my shade. You know, do you understand what that is? It's like when you don't have anything on your lips, you have a natural color, so finding a gloss or lipstick that fits that color, but just a little bit better, that's M M my lips but better, MLBB, that's an MLBB, my lips but better, that's an MLBB gloss, whenever you see that you're like, that's an MLBB gloss, so I, I think you should buy it if you see something like that, because it's, it's hard to find that right hue for your lip. Um, for it is for me anyway, and then I ended up getting um, Wet n Wild Mega Blast. What is this? Cherry on top. Um, I threw away my my gloss. Like I, I needed some issue with gloss, so I was like, that looks interesting. It looks fun. So let's get that. And then um, makeup chair. If you haven't checked her out, makeup chair. Um, the makeup chair. I don't know if it's the makeup chair, but she is across the pond and um, she's been talking about this um, powder this is the Maybelline Dream Wonder powder 
and someone told me it was like a dupe for like a high-end powder but it is really lovely I used it yesterday and I live in the south so you get sweaty real quick and it stayed on I mean I look fine even throughout the night so recommend this and then I am one of those girls that you know when you're putting on eyeliner it almost seems like you're doing like surgery and you always mess up and you have to fix it but you can't use like a normal q-tip because it's not like fine enough point because your eyeliner is like super thin so you have to get like the you know the precision tip ones and you have to dip it in like makeup remover and then like play with it <laughs> so yeah I got two of those Woo um, I got the plum wine um, dream bouncy blush I got the other one that's like a well not the other there's more than one but I have another one that's like a pink but um, I got this because another beauty blogger oh my god her name escapes me now Emily Noel Emily Noel has mentioned this shade and she uh, I was like oh that looks good and um, I was initially scared to try it before watching her blog because I was like, I don't know if that shade will work for me. It's too dark, but it, it probably, it looks good on her. So we'll, and we are very similar in our skin tone. So that will be interesting to try. And then the last thing that I bought <laughs> is um, Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel. Um, so I'm a fan of towelettes because um, I'm lazy sometimes and you just, you just want to put something on and get it off. But I like Witch Hazel. I like witch hazel and I also like um, diluted apple cider to tone your face. Sometimes you just need it, like your pores are just gross. So it helps if you're having one of those times when you're, it feels like your face is just producing a lot of oil. Wash your face normally and then after you're done washing, wipe some witch hazel in a cotton ball and just just wait and it, it helps a lot it's it's not like alcohol it's much um, nicer to your skin so recommend that okay we are done with the haul um, next part favorites yeah favorites favorites no 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 let's let's do fails first and then we'll talk about favorites okay fails first fail NARS uh, illuminator and this is in super orgasm I got this about a year or two ago and um, because everyone kept talking about like you need an illuminator it's great right there okay I'm like okay fine let's, let's get this that was a fail I shouldn't have gotten this one this one is like here let me show you so you put it on and it's in theory it's supposed to be great but do you see even that's just a little bit and it just makes you look like you are wearing petroleum jelly and then like dusted glitter on top of it. It's just oh god it's all over my pants gross 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 but it's it's the fail um, I'm keeping it though and mixing it with sunscreen because you gotta wear sunscreen I'm mixing it with sunscreen and putting it like over the body when I go to the beach or the pool or something but don't get this if you're trying to put something on your face. Just go get the, um, well, there's others. There's so much better. Don't do that. Um, the next one would be the L'Oreal Endless Pearl eyeshadow. Now, I love all the other ones, okay? They have this beautiful shimmer, and it's, the shades are just, you know, there's this deep green, and then this black with the glitter. It's not glitter, it's shimmer. And it's, I love everything but this this is not shimmer this is matte okay this is like a chalky mess and if you wanted to get something like that like a shade like this you might as well get brulee by wet n wild because it would be a much better and cheaper alternative this is not working okay next baby lips I don't get it I don't understand why people keep talking about it it's really it's not that there's no it there's a smell sure but I don't I'm not like oh I need this but fail I don't like it oh I really should say these are just my opinions so if you love them good on ya but yeah me no likey fourth thing um, I'm surprised that this didn't work for me because Stilla is such a good 
you know, brand, you know, because they're off, they're like a side or sister of Estee Lauder, so. This is a concealer, okay, and I don't, it didn't work for me. It's just, it's drying almost, like, um, I actually prefer, this is one of my favorites, the Revlon Photo Ready instead of this, and uh, I'm making myself use it because I paid so much for it, but if you are thinking of a concealer like a stick, you might want to consider the Revlon instead of that. And then the last one is the Milani, Milani Tickled Pink. That's what it looks like. Okay? It's big. And the others in the shade, I actually like. There's a, a nice black matte one that's going to take me like 20 years to finish. Um, but this one doesn't work. I initially got it because of YouTube told me, basically. I, I saw a beauty guru said, oh, you should get this. You should put it in, like, you know, the center of the eye for a glimmer. But it's pink, but it doesn't come as pink. Do you understand? It's more like a, like a golden kind of thing. It, it's, it's this weird thing where it's, it's not pink, so, okay, but it doesn't have enough power or oomph to it that I'm like, it's worth wearing this today. So, yeah, not going to continue wearing that. Okay, time for favorites. Um, okay, so this one is Nukes Lip Balm. This brand, I don't know if you can get it in the States. This is primarily a French brand. And um, I got this uh, from a friend who went to Paris. And she went to a pharmacy there, and I asked her for some stuff, and she got it for me. And I hadn't tried it, but I heard it from Lisa Eldridge. If you haven't checked out her site, check her out. She's awesome. And she was telling us about, like, products to buy um, if you are in a French pharmacy. So I tried it out, and this is awesome. It's, it's like, based on honey. Like, it's a honey. I love it. I just love it. Get, get it. Because um, I'm one of those people that when I go to bed and I wake up in the morning, my lips just get so... They're so dry and gross, and I'm like, what happened while I was sleeping, you know? Um, but if I smear this on before I go to bed and I wake up in the morning, it's not so bad. So that helps. Um, next thing. This thing is La Roche-Posay Effaclair, Effaclair Duo. Okay? This thing is amazing! It's been lauded in, like, Allure magazine and stuff like that by, like, beauty editors. And I'm like, eh, what the hell? This is supposed to help if you are, like, your pores and you're, like, greasy and stuff. And... You put this on right before you put your makeup on, and it's supposed to help, and it does. It is awesome. It's this, like, corrective and unclogging anti-imperfection care. And I live in the South, as you can tell, so you get slick by noon around here. It's just, it's a mess. So you take whatever help you can get. So this is awesome. Next thing. Um, instead of baby lips, I think it might be a better alternative to get this one. It is adorable! Look at it! It's so cute and tiny! It's so tiny! Who wouldn't want to use this? I mean, granted, there is a little bit of, like, sanitation issue because you're dipping your finger in there, but just make sure your hands are clean, but it's so cute. So cute. Must have. Okay, and I already told you about the Revlon Photo Ready, right? This thing is awesome because if you're, you know, sometimes I'll just wear this instead of actual, like, foundation. You just stripe it on whatever, brush, powder, you're good. This will stay on all day. Awesome. If you need, um, like, a concealer. I don't, I have tried it under the eyes. My, mine, it's, it's fine for me. Um, but for blemishes and stuff, awesome. You must try. Next, um, oh, this thing. This is the Tarte. Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in exposed. So let me show you what that looks like. See? Whoa, am I showing it? Yes. So this shade is almost idiot proof. It really is. I mean, it's almost like a bronzer, really. It's impossible to put too much of this on. I mean, as long as you blend, you should get this. It's awesome. I got I heard about this from from Jen from my head to from head to toe. Like two years ago, she was talking about it. She was like her, this was her favorite. So I ended up seeing it the other day and I was like, I'll try that. And it is awesome. You should try it. And then my scent that I can't get enough of 
is Body Shop Moringa Body Mist. Everybody knows about the Moringa, right? It's awesome. It's, it is like, gosh, it's like gardenias, but like something more. You need to try it. It's just, it's, it's a perfect summer scent because summer has that like, it's not, it's not spring scent. It's more summer because summer has that like that, you know, the heat and then the flowers are just more pungent and you just, not pungent, but just, it's just thicker, like heaty. You know, like you go out in a summer night and it just smells like the perfume of the flowers or in the air. And when I wear this at night, it's just, I love it. I love it. The only thing about this is it doesn't last long. So you have to keep spritzing throughout the day, which is fine. But I'm just saying, like, if you spritzed it after the shower, four or five hours from now, it wouldn't really be there. So it's not like a perfume perfume. It really is a mist. It's kind of like the Victoria's Secret, you know, body mists and stuff. So that's the only thing. Oh, and one last thing. I I don't know if you guys know what this is, but this are, what are they? I forgot the official name for it, but they're like, you take this and you, it's better than flossing. They're picks is what it is. It's, um, let me show you. So. You take this thing, okay, and you put it, like, in between your teeth to floss. Especially, like, the back teeth, you know, because it's impossible to get in there and floss. And you have to get back there because that's where all the bacteria and stuff breeds. And this is really important because there's such a correlation between people who floss and heart disease. Like, you don't want to die of heart disease because you just forgot to floss. You know, it's just, it's a simple thing. So, the first two or three days that you do this... It's gonna, you're gonna bleed like a stuck pig. Um, just get used to it. But another thing about this is, whoops, whoop, whoops, okay. You can bend it like this, see? And then you can get to like the sides, like inside. And it's so, so much better than the string floss. I've actually started to wonder what the hell I'm gonna do with all the string floss that I have. but. Um, you can get them, I got mine at Costco, so if you can get them, please go get them and floss. I highly recommend everyone floss, okay? I don't know, um, everyone keeps talking about beauty on the outside, but I'm telling you, it's really important that you floss, because you don't want to have, like, receding gums when you're, like, 35 or something, because you were just too lazy to do what you need to do. Plus, teeth are important. <laughs> okay, so, empties part, Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven. No, eight. No, nine. Nine. Okay. <sighs> for sure, for sure, empty is this one. The Biodema Craline. This is awesome. This is like my third bottle. I go through this stuff all the time. My eyes are super sensitive. I can't just use any, like, makeup remover that's just out there because it will... It will always burn, and sometimes it's oily, and it's just like a mess, and I have to wash my face like twice just to get it off, and it doesn't work. This one is like the consistency of water, but it doesn't taste like water, because if you ac I've accidentally tasted it, I'm like, oh my god, that was disgusting, but awesome. You could like squirt this all over your face. It's really a face cleanser, too, sometimes in the morning when I have to, you know, get ready, and I'm not sure... If I really wash my face well, I'll, I'll put some in a pad and wash it off. And I'm like, oh, God, I did not wash my face well. That's gross. But, yeah, if you can get this, get this. And then other thing is the Fresh Lavender Antibacterial Gentle Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. If you have the opportunity to buy the, foam, the soaps from Bath & Body Works and it's like the foam, get the fresh picked ones. Um, this was good. I'm just saying, like, like right now I'm using the garden, garden, herb garden one and, and the bathroom, and I like that one. Like, the scent is just so much better for the fresh picked. So if you can get this, um, not this, get the fresh picked ones, okay? Okay, so, uh, moisturizer is really good, and this is the second bottle that we have bought of this. My husband loves this because it's basically like chocolate. Like he, he smells like chocolate. He loves it. So this is awesome. And it's perfect for summer because summer is just a time for, you know, just cocoa butter and sunscreen. And this is perfect. Next 
This is the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser Creamy Formula. This is a nice alternative to Cetaphil. Actually, I like this better than Cetaphil. So, we're... Yep, almost done. This is Gardenia by Bath & Body Works. It's, you must know how impossible it is to finish one of these. It takes forever, but you can tell I'm, I'm almost there. Um, I really like gardenias. Can you tell? <laughs> gardenias are my favorite flowers. They're my favorite flowers, favorite scent, so this is great. Aveeno Ultra Foaming. <laughs> Aveeno Ultra Foaming Cleanser. This one, the pump doesn't work. Like, when you push it down, it just stays down. I don't want to push it down because I'm sure it's going to squirt something, but it just stays down, but it's fine. I worked with it. This is awesome. It has, it's like a foam, and I like Aveeno. It never irritated my skin because I have super, super sensitive skin, so this is great. Ah, oh, this is Aveen. Aveen? Yeah, Aveen. It sounds like Avena, but it's not Avena, it's Avene. This is like a French product. Um, it's a lotion toner. So it looks weird like that, but you have to shake it because like the lotion part will get in the bottom. So you have to shake it, and I love this. It's awesome. <laughs> and I can't believe I, got, I went through it as fast as I did. Um, it's for blemish-prone skin. You wash your face, and you use this toner, and it just, it, you feel... It doesn't tingle or hurt or anything, because as I said, I have sensitive skin, but it just makes my skin feel amazing. So, get that. Ugh. Vitamin E oil. Okay? Sometimes you need to put just vitamin E oil, like, especially under your eyes and just your hair, your nails, your cuticles, just, you can't go wrong. Vitamin E. I think you could even eat this. Yep, this is pure enough to take orally. I don't know, I, I haven't eaten it, but I apply it to the skin all the time. Ah, L'Oreal Youth Code Serum Corrector. This is like my third bottle of this. This stuff is amazing. I'm not kidding. You might want to try this. You really do. Youth Code, that's no joke. It's Youth Code, all right. And last but not least is Pacifica Hawaiian Ruby Guava, the body butter. Okay, so this is nice. I do like this. But if I were you, I would go get the blood orange one. That one is, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's not like terrible. I mean, I could wear it, but I'm just saying if I had to pick, blood orange would be the one I would pick because that's one of the few scents that's, um, like if it says orange, it is orange. Because sometimes with scents that say orange, it's, it's not orange. There's like a peachy undertone or some sort of, you know, like, they dilute it, and I'm like, this is an orange, this is like peach or something. Um, but yeah, if you had the opportunity to see Pacifica and you see Blood Orange, highly recommend you get it. You won't regret it. Okay, I think I'm done. Hopefully, I didn't go blathering on. How long is this video so far? Holy crap, 24 minutes. Sorry! Um, I'll try to edit it as best as I can so I'm not talking on endlessly. But it was like a big video. It was like four things I mentioned. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. I kind of had fun. It was good. Okay, bye.